there's been a lot of discussion in public forums and in the media lately about the problem of deepfakes and how that relates to politics. And I know you have some interesting thoughts about this issue as it pertains to liquid democracy. So could you talk a little bit more a little bit more about deepfakes? Totally. Yeah, deepfakes are this idea that you can use cutting edge AI technology to create videos and audio where it looks like um, some well-known figure is saying something that isn't it's a total artifact it's totally it's totally fake and so you could have um, Barack Obama saying he really is trying to turn America Muslim or you could have Donald Trump saying he really does work for, you know directly for Putin or, or these things that people are accusing accusing figures of and they typically are denying, but you could create these uh, videos or audio of them seemingly admitting to them. And they're they're pretty convincing and they're becoming more convincing by the day. And so a lot of times, often people that are aware of this phenomenon will say, doesn't this mean we can't trust democracy and does this mean we can't trust digital things isn't this isn't this a threat and a vulnerability to digital democracy doesn't this mean that liquid democracy would make the situation worse and uh if you stop and, and think about it for a second I, th I think um just the opposite in fact liquid democracy is will, will make this situation better and will the the phenomenon of deep fakes and the phenomenon of, of fraudulent media necessitates a, a more accountable and truly representative system even more than what we have right now. And very simply, the simple way to think about this is just that our current system invests so much political power and political responsibility into such a tiny number of people that those people are targets for these sort of uh, misrepresentations. And so... You could imagine because of the nature of an election, um, you're, you're coming up, you're weeks out from, from voting day or the final week before the voting day. That's when one of these uh, videos or, or fake media could, could get released and it just destroys support for one of the candidates at the very last minute. And now all those ideas... Um, all the ideas and policies and vision that the candidate was championing no longer have a home because their vehicle of the candidate was was attacked so much. And so the point is that in a liquid system, first of all, we won't, it's, it's just not nearly as indirect. It's not that we only have a small number of people to champion our ideas. If it turns out that one candidate, um, some, some new revelatory information comes out that makes a candidate makes people realize that they're not as strong of a leader as we thought they would be. We have a lot more other options. It's not just this lesser of two evils. You only get to pick among two options, the way elections typically set up our political political system. And it doesn't imbue that entire decision in like a once every four year, like single event as well, which makes um, the whole nature of, of the system just so much more vulnerable to these um, kind of like, quick reaction these like these sort of events that would provoke a big reaction but then people would look into it and realize wait a second that actually was was not a substantive and and more than that just at a, at a higher taking it a step further in a delegative democratic system in a liquid democratic system when we can pick uh, representatives that we've actually known for a lot longer and they're not just these like media figures and like celebrity figures and like politicians like products the way our current system is really organized then they'll be a lot less likely to be targets and we the constituents we the people that pick them as our leaders will just be a lot less likely to fall for these traps because we actually know these people and we we know a lot better that they wouldn't say something like that or or, or so on and so um just the, the basic point is just that by spreading out and decentralizing our political power to a much greater descent, uh, to a much greater degree, the way delegative democracy offers, um, it will 
create a much more resilient system to attacks like fraudulent misrepresentation that deepfakes represent. So it, deepfakes are a concern and people ought to be educated about them and concerned about them. And there are some tools that are being developed to detect them, which are promising and, and really interesting. And, and also the, the um, growing reality of them ought not to be a reason that we avoid investigating and, and pursuing and exploring delegative democracy and more digital democracy. Um, yeah, we, we can have a trustworthy, we can have a much more trustworthy democratic system in the future if we get to pick our own representatives. And that will help all sorts of problems.